Hey yo. Hey. How you doing? Welcome to new meta episode 19. 19. 19. Almost did it. I'm the Peach Child. Lord Fluffy. Everybody knows. Yeah, pretty much. So that background, I announcing for season 15, Peach Child's playing a witch doctor, ladies and gentlemen. Oh man! <laughs> <laughs> when did I, when did this happen? Yeah, when just this, now. You when told me right before. This, you don't remember that? Oh shit! No, I don't. I don't. <laughs> uh, that's a pretty good fan art, though, man. That's pretty cool fan art. Yeah. Just um. Yeah, I mean, at least I'm gonna be playing. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> I had to get. I had to get that digging. Yeah, yeah. Oh, how was your week going, man? Oh my gosh, slammed absolutely slammed i leave yeah. for morocco this friday so i'm trying to like squeeze in all the guides all the work i need to do and then i just signed a contract for a new place so i have to like get all that in order this I week mean, too so it's just like the worst week that's ever. awesome man congrats on the new place thanks kind of so terrifying. when are you moving uh it's supposed to, so like, it's written for like december 31st but um he says he'll be done like 50 45 days in advance so we'll see nice cool cool well congrats man thanks um terrifying yeah we got we got uh some some kind of some stuff to talk about this week some more diablo news it seems like like there's the methodical leaking of information consistently yeah yeah, and it makes me it, it, it feels planned to me. Like I don't know if you get that same vibe, but it kind of feels like stuff's trickling out just enough to be like, you know, something's coming, something's sure, coming. Sure. So um you get I, into, let's start off Yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's start off with the questions we asked about from last week so we don't, you know, forget about it. We can just so, yeah. jump right into it. Oh, and then the big one announcement to make right off the bat, no podcast next week yeah, because yeah. you're gone. I'll be gone. And yeah so but the week after that i'll arrive back just in time (laughs) just in time podcast so that's gonna be a crazy (laughs) day as well yeah burnt out and ready to do a podcast right yep yeah uh so yeah the question from last week was what new game modes would you guys like to see in the game besides you know riffs greater riffs challenge riffs and bounties Mm -hmm. um and I didn't get a ton of responses. Uh, one of them was from Kakarot. He said, new ideas, team-based PvP. Obviously, everybody wants that. That'd be such a great mm-hmm. thing. And I noticed you. Yep. I kind of snuck in. You were you were like in the PvP area. Yeah. What were, like, yep. Did you ever end up fighting anybody? No, nobody no. came in. No. I was hoping one of my teammates would come in, yeah, you yep. know, and I was just going to try to murk them real quick when they came in. But yeah. um, it didn't happen. And I'm kind of glad because they probably would end up killing me. And sure, then, sure. you know. <laughs> I don't. So I swear, in D three, you used to get body parts when you killed somebody, and maybe that was just D two. I'm remembering, but I swear that you used to get like a, a severed ear or a, or a leg or something. I, I swear, man, this used to be a thing. This it used to be a thing. Maybe maybe not though. Um, but yeah, so so we actually had some PvP discussions, and and I'll get into that. Let's read these ideas, sure, sure. and then I'll give my thoughts about the PvP discussions we had. And his other idea was uh, team synced abilities, uh, like so if like a Necro does something, it triggers like an event that you know if maybe the Crusader does something. It's kind of like yes. heroic opportunities from EverQuest Two. Mm, didn't play that. Okay, but but it worked but, exactly like what he's saying. Cool. Yeah, there are a lot of games that use combos when you have two players. Like if you're doing something at the same time another person uses their abilities, then it would trigger a combo move. And yeah. that would be pretty cool, man. I w- I'm I'm down with that. For sure. Like you, you have a second to, to trigger something. It has to be a tight timing, you know? Yeah. But that would be cool for sure. Yeah. So. Um, and also the one that it's not, I'll post on YouTube, but he mentioned in my Discord. I, I actually... I'm going to take his idea and kind of run with it. And so his idea was like, so say you do like different game modes and you get like a piece of a weapon. Uh, like you get like the yeah. shaft or the, the blade yeah. and whatever. And you, I, it's kind of like, too, yeah. okay, so it's like a daily kind of bounty system. Yeah. Um, which is cool because they have this like thing built into the game, uh, like the, the set dungeons. And so the set dungeons, there's these objectives, right? Where you're yep. like, you know, kill 
these mobs with this skill and like maybe don't take any damage and stuff like that so you could definitely yeah. do like bounties almost like a daily yeah. kind of yeah quest thing. Oh, and and take and then i think he went on to say take these parts to combine them into yeah. a primal okay. was what his his thing was sure and i and i like that i mean it's it's just adding to the crafting system sure, but sure. make so instantly what just popped in my head though is do you remember when you used to have to to get crafting parts from creatures back in vanilla yeah, yeah. to craft items it seems like we're kind of going down that road again too so and i honestly didn't like that system very much i although, don't think i so this to me in my head i'm thinking this is like a quest you pick up and that's the reward you okay get. i'm not just kind of like, like a farming. like a bounty like yeah, a yeah, random exactly bounty that you can get yeah yeah i like that too and and something else i would like to see and this is an idea that they could steal from world of warcraft um i like how wow has its systems when you're out in the wild and you're out doing things that there are uh world quests that pop up on the screen i would like to see those in diablo like if you're just going mm. through an area all of a sudden you get a message from some npc that says hey help me kill 40 of these things and i'll give you something and you can completely ignore it and go about your business or yeah. you can sit there and like all right cool let me do this and and, and see what the treasure yeah. could be and imagine so. that inside of like rifts and greater rifts like yeah another exactly thing to do that you know means. That'd be cool. Yeah, you're you're in this rift smoking stuff. You already have the timer pressure, sure. but then this guy pops up and he's like, "Save me!" And it's like, okay, you have to kill fifty things or escort him to the next mm -hmm. level alive or something like that. Sure. That'd be really cool, man. It I like fun. that. Yeah. So, uh, and then you can just say, "I don't really care. I'm farming greater keys." You know, skip sure, it. Sure. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know. Yeah, that would be cool. So, uh, but I like the yeah. idea. You know, more more modes. Yeah. More things. To I do. agree. Um. So the PVP talks, we we had a conversation in stream last night about PVP and some of the ideas that I had um, were very basic, but I think that they could start with the foundation of 2v2 or 3v3 and each specific class has set stats and set damage that they go in with. Like they're going to go in with everybody has 100 HP across the board or whatever balancing that, that needs to happen to make that work out. And then your abilities are going to do set damages too, um, and then and then break the PVE gear. Like damage is is out of this world in the game. So if you sure. make set set stats when you go in, and then just make PVP gear. Like if you want a PVP, you have to get PVP gear, and you get it by by grinding it out. I, you know, I don't I don't know of, of all the details. I didn't sit down and work out sure. all the details, but I I think if you started with some base stats on every single class. And they went in and their abilities all had base damage that was low enough where you could get hit a couple times and you're not instantly just dead. So there was some skill involved, some kiting maybe, or some team to some team play where maybe you have a Z monk go in and try to heal you guys while you're, you know, getting beat up and, right. and things like that. So I now, think they could do it. See, I I like like I like the ideas, but I kind of feel like you know, if, if we're going to get more content in D3, it should definitely be like just PVE focus. We should kind of just embrace oh, yeah. what Diablo for sure. is. For sure. I would love to see yep. some new, you know, Diablo 4 P have some PVP. Yes. Yeah, for uh, sure. But if we're yep. going to get development on D3, it should be like. I agree with that 100%. I think it's too late in yeah. D3's life cycle to try to introduce PVP. Yeah. I, I don't think it's, I don't think they'd have time to tweak sure. it enough to make it work. Like that would be a system, a brand new system. They would take years, probably a year yeah. or more to really get fine tuned so yeah um, so it's like it'd be cool and I, i'd be like excited about it but at the same time i'd be like you know if this flops that's a ton of dev effort they could have put yeah towards something for else. sure so for sure yeah. so uh, i all right i'm gonna save it like it's later in the schedule i'm gonna save it because okay. that we'll say we'll save that the next conversation that i'm wanting to jump into but um and, it, and then again, the the season end date is the sixteenth, which is five yeah. days from now, less than five days crazy, from now. Man. Go by time, so I can't believe the season's already over. Um, I've really tapered off at the end of the season, which is the first time that's happened to me in a long time. Hmm. Um, but you know, we're gonna I'm gonna grind it out. I haven't even finished my seasonal journey yet. Like I'm not really motivated to. Sure. Have you Have you done yours? I haven't done them since I maxed my stash tabs. Yeah, you don't care. You don't, don't care, care about the portrait frames. No. Yeah. Unless there's a cool one, which I I haven't yeah. seen a cool one, at least the one I think was cool in a while. So what's your favorite? Do you have a favorite? Um what was like the season 
four ones, like a the dark crystal or something. I think that would probably be my yeah. I like that one. one. My, um, go ahead. My I have two. My favorite my favorite one from a season is season three. It's just the Diablo face mm. thing. And then my my maybe my favorite one altogether is the one from the the uh, Tristram event that happens in January, where it's the um the uh, Diablo that you get from actually going through and farming oh. all of the yeah, little yeah. mini bosses. Everything was kind of a pain in the butt. I mean, it took several hours to get. Um, but that's probably my favorite one. Yeah. So I'm usually too lazy to even equip one though. I don't. I, I just don't think about it anymore. I just leave the basic one on and sure go with it. So sure. sure. But yeah, we got five days to the season end date and then four days until the start date after that. So the 21st, which is 20 days from now, I guess. Is that right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, 10 days from 10 now. Days, I can't count. Yeah. 10 days from now. Uh, 10 days from now. Next week. Yeah, I mean, can you? It's next like you're Friday. saying next week. It's like this yeah, is the next season. Friday. And the season doesn't end really until next week, <laughs> which is so I'm, crazy. I'm, I'm curious to see how this is going to blow over with the community, man. I, I don't think that there's going to be enough decompression time. I, I yeah. think people that are burnt out are going to stay burnt out. I yeah. don't think this is going to give them that time they need but we'll see how it plays i, I mean, haven't I honestly totally and i don't know if you have any different results but i haven't had a single person think that this was a good idea to have a four-day break yeah i i haven't had anybody say they liked it either in, in, in any of my chats with people so yeah um and i actually kind of like playing non-season i like combining like all my crazy powerful gear on my non-season yeah. character and playing a bunch of non-meta stuff and they're only going to give me like I'm not going to be here, which sucks. So like I'm not going to have yeah. any non-seasonal time, period. So it's just like it blows. It's it'd take me four days to go through my my stuff to combine <laughs> it. <laughs> you know, yeah. like I don't know. Um, that's yeah, it. It is what it is. Yeah. We can't change it. I I hope I hope that the end result is worth it. I think something's going to happen. There has to be a reason that they're lining this up this way. So I, I hope the end result is worth worth it. And and maybe at the end of this next season, we won't be talking about this because we don't care, sure. you know, because something big is going to yeah. happen. Um, and then so back to the leak thing, it seems like every week there's like a little bit of leak. Mm-hmm. Uh, they leaked the first 10 pages of the Book of Adria. And it looks like the Book of Adria is just a... Uh, demon dictionary kind of thing it kind of gives lore about the demons and stuff i don't really know what it is i'm not really a big book collector or anything like that this isn't something that normally i would be interested in but you know i'm i'm hungry for new diablo stuff so this is something that appealed to me so i looked at it i didn't see any new content in there all the creatures and all the things listed stuff that we've seen yeah it all looked like diablo 3 stuff to me um Hmm. but it it did leak and it's and it's like is this a leak or is it intentional? It just seems like it's more uh, little things. To I mean, build we talked hype. about this last week. So I, f- I feel like all of these leaks. I mean, yeah, they got to be intentional. And on every know. single photo, like this is all Diablo three. My thing, my thing would be is if you're a distributor that's getting the opportunity to distribute brand new Diablo content, are you really going to f it up that bad and leak it out early? Like that would jeopardize you ever getting another contract with Blizzard yeah. and maybe other companies. So that's that's like my biggest why I think a lot of these leaks are fake is it's like, no, nope, if you goof up that bad, you know, like Amazon could goof up because sure. you know, nobody can boycott. You can't boycott Amazon. Right. You can't boycott like Walmart or something. But um, I don't know, like little smaller retailers like this. I don't think that they can do that. So, yeah, I don't. I don't send so what do you think about this it's just like so this is all like these photos are i mean all everything i've seen is like diablo 3 but yeah. like why are they hyping up diablo 3 again seemingly with this i i have theories i have theories it kind of ties into something else though but okay. i do have okay. Theories. Okay. okay okay let's move on yeah so we'll get to <laughs> um and then so you know we we're talking about the season 15 starting um I've been debating a lot the last couple of days. Do I want to take a pre-made team in there and just do rats right off the bat? Or do I want to just randomly raffle some viewers and just take my time and chill and level a monk? You know, I'm probably going to end up maining a monk this next season. 
Um, but rats are so powerful, man. Yeah. You know, it's like, it's very tempting to get on that train sure. right at the start. So if you were here, yeah, there's no doubt you would do the rat thing. Are you going to main necro again? I'm um, kind of undecided. I might actually. So I'm after this season, I really, there's no point in me pushing necro pestilence again. Cause if it's not a new season of changes, I may have already proved I did 117 at 2K. Like, that's just insane. I might even do 118 at, like, 2.1K, which would be fucking batshit crazy. Um, so I don't see myself, like, pushing that again. And I don't really love, like, absolutely love everything about all the other classes. So I don't yeah. know. I'm thinking about either, like, I'll maybe play a different class, like like Wizard or something like that, or mm-hmm. maybe do some hardcore necro and push something non-meta like uh, poison scythe or something like that. Do you do you see yourself pushing on whatever class you play competitively again, like you did this season, or you think, like to me, I'm kind of over it at this point. Unless unless they actually do something about the bots during the season, I don't really care. Like I, I don't, and and I know like I, I know there are reasons to not think that way, but it's just like my desire isn't there especially when I know that ultimately I'm competing with people who have a crazy advantage over me to begin with. Sure. So it's like, why, why do this? I could do something else. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's kind of like my mindset now. And, um, so I enjoy the game and I enjoy playing the game and grinding the game and just hanging out. But, uh, do you think you're going to push competitively again, or is it going to be more casual? Just like, ah, let's just see what we can do for fun. I mean, it's tough to say. So, I mean, I wouldn't even say really, and this might kind of blow your your mind, but I don't wouldn't even say that I really pushed competitively this season because, like, yeah, I'm pushing some crazy for what I can do, but I can't play at you know necessarily competitive level because you know I have a full time job, and yeah, well, yeah, I agree with that a hundred percent. You know, my my play time's limited to like four hours a day, which by a casual is like insane. You're like four sure. hours a day. But what? By to you know, but, the actual but competitively, people, right? it's like yeah, yeah you're talking about eight to eight right. to twelve to fifteen hours a day. Mm-hmm. You know, and and you know, uh, which that ties me into something else I would been thinking about. Like, um, do you think, do you think that the bands matter after the season's over? Yeah. Like does does it does it does it affect your mindset? Like let's say season the season's gonna end Sunday or whatever day it is, and then Tuesday they do a band wave and clear the leaderboards. Sure. You're happy with that? Like that's okay to you? Yeah, I mean, I would have preferred that they did it during the season because you know, during the season there's the hype of like, oh, I'm constantly checking leaderboards. Hey, look, look, this is yeah. where I'm at right now. It's approaching the end of the season. I'm trying to push that rank one or whatever. Uh, but I'm still happy with the band wave because postseason. I still want them to do it too. I, I definitely still want them to yeah. do it. But it has so much little impact in my mind after the season's over. It's like if they did it two weeks before, then I'm like, okay, those guys don't have time to get a new character ready. And then now for the last two weeks of the season, I can actually see where am I going to fall sure. in the group of legit players. Whereas when they do it after the season, it's like, well, you know, if I would have got two, one greater rift higher, it would have put me from, you know, 50 to 40 or something. Maybe that would have been worth it. But so as it sat with, with the botters, I'm like at 58, you know, or when 60. When you push the leaderboard, you're not just trying to get the maximum of what you can possibly do. It's because it's just like, yeah, what? but, but the drive to get the placement helps a little bit too. Mm. Like top 100 is like, Oh man, if I get one more, I can be top 100 sure. top 50 is like, Oh, if I get one more, I can be top 50. Yeah, yeah. But if it's like, I get one more and I'm like 57, then it's like that changes the drive just a little bit, you know? Sure. Slightly. I mean, it's, you know, yeah, it's, well, I, think, I mean, I agree to an extent. I think, you know, late season, it's definitely exciting to actually push that number and, you know, it makes it more exciting to watch. But at the same time, you know, the next season starts in a couple of weeks and people will be like, you know, how'd you fare last season? And you just pull it up and yeah. you moved up, you like, know, well, like it's, I don't yeah. know. I, to me, it's it's a double whammy because like, yes, I would absolutely love it if they did, regardless of when they do the band wave, if they do the band wave, because A, you know, it pushes me up further to where I should have been. And B, yep. 
it gets it, like it basically deletes those rat botters you know from the game and <laughs> like no one ever knows they existed except which, for they they bought 50 keys during the sale yeah, this week right you know so it's just um like, yeah. yeah it's it is, I'm with it is. You. yeah yeah i'm with you i'm with you all right so we we I'm going to tie in some of the stuff we were talking about yeah, earlier. Yeah. So we were talking about the book of Adria leaks and then uh, some of the other stuff. But we have a goodie bag that released yeah, from yeah. BlizzCon. So this is the goodie bag that we're going to get when we go, which is kind of cool. Comparatively to other goodie bags I've seen in the past, it's a little bit, it's a little underwhelming. But that's, it's still cool. Still, you know, I didn't even know this goodie is the thing. So, can I just be so, like at the door, just be like, you can keep that. <laughs> no, you can you can you can give it to me. Though. Okay, cool. I'll I'll I'll, I'll raffle. <laughs> Do you think I can so. sell it? I don't know. Maybe hmm. get yeah get some of that hotel money back. Yeah. Oh, God, oh, shit. <laughs> God, that, those hotel prices. Oh, you know, it's hard so, to find a twin bed that two grown men can share. You know. I, I mean, listen. I was just gonna sleep on the couch. We could cuddle on the couch, but mm. you know, mm. um, too much. <laughs> so. If we if we look at what's included in this, yeah, yeah. there's something that really piques my interest. Go ahead and pull that picture this up. This one, and then you guys, uh, yeah. Do you see that little figurine inside? There? Yeah. Why is it like kind of the center show, piece? Show, show the bigger ones too. Isn't there some bigger is ones there? of it? There? I think so. If you go through them, there's a uh, one of the actual figurine. So there's a Diablo uh, statue, like a mini Diablo statue, in this goodie bag. Boom. And yeah, there it is. That's surprising to me. Um, that's that's pretty big, man. That really, really makes me think we're gonna. To me, get this is less significant G3. than seeing it in like the full thing because it's like, look how much space that's taking up. Yeah, yeah, it's like, a good portion of the box. Yeah, like what's so what's you know what do you get in there? You get you get a World of Warcraft keychain, you get an Overwatch coin. I guess that's a coin. I don't know what the hell that is. I don't know. You get some Heroes of the Storm thing. I don't play that game. I don't know about it. <laughs> and then uh, Hearthstone, like that Hearthstone cardboard pop out. Like, what the hell is that? Like, no what idea. is that? That's the cheapest thing I've ever seen. That's like a cereal box toy. What does it say on that? Hearthstone magnet set? Oh, they're magnets yeah. for your fridge, I guess. Okay. I mean, Starcraft I don't pin. Know. And we're that every stream. <laughs> like the Diablo toy is the best item in the box. And, and I know I'm biased. I know I'm super biased. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, that, to me, it, that to me is cool. It's like I would put that on my desk sure. somewhere and just let it chill, you sure. know? Um, so that's interesting, man. It makes me think that 100% we're going to get Diablo 3 content. I think it's Diablo 3. That is a Diablo 3 figurine. But it's a man. Yeah. Oh wait, it is a girl in Diablo three, yeah. isn't it? And Diablo two was a dude, a guy, a big thick a dude. dude, yeah, fast, a big dude like a that, big thick, really well, fast dude, like that, yeah. He was thick, not Diablo's exactly like confirms. that, but it looks. I don't know. Uh, yeah, you're right, man. You're right. I didn't. I didn't think about that. I didn't think that it is. Yeah, it is uh, Adria in Diablo three, isn't it, Adria? What? I don't, no, what's she that chick's name? What's the chick that? What's her name? God damn it. Adria's the mom. Yeah, she turns She's the into witch. something. No. Yeah, she turns into Adria from that crazy boss in Act 5. I don't know. I haven't oh played the God. game. What's her name? <laughs> the stupid chick. Leah. Oh my God. Leah. Thank you. <laughs> Maybe I should replay the campaign. Sounds like soon. it, man. You didn't remember either, man. The name, but so, you thought it was Adria. <laughs> <laughs> it's somebody. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know, man. It's something, though. I think we're gonna get something. Yeah, I, so. I mean, okay. Even if, even if, let's say this were like, hey, we're gonna get some Diablo three, right? Like seeing this as a male or female, it doesn't really matter because Diablo, like Diablo, is gonna come back as whatever like he could be whatever. a big giant right. fluffy cat next time like it doesn't he's diablo that's what he does he comes back so <laughs> it could be yeah. anything but in going in conjunction with that they kind of release like the blizzcon art Dang. yeah and again we and see 
Diablo. Big old on manly there. Diablo. And he doesn't have the interesting thing here is he doesn't have the black soul stone. No, no soul stone. No in soul his, stone. But he does in the statue, though. So that yeah, could have yeah, just yeah. been an artist mess up. Because I, I, I know that. Well, does he? Or is that a horn? Go pull that picture back up of, of the. Yeah, he's got it. Well, I, it looks like a horn. Is that a horn? Or the soul? Yeah, I don't know. That may not even be a soul stone. That might be a horn, a sure, broken sure. horn. I don't know. Um, it, but it's you could say like so like this is obviously for Hearthstone or Heroes of the Storm or something. Yeah. And this like this isn't a real. That's from the cinematic that chick right from Hearthstone. Yeah, I don't. I never yeah. played that yeah. much. So. But we got we got Starcraft on the left. We got WoW. We got Overwatch. This is um, Heroes of the Storm. I, I assume. What's, what's the dog for? The dog. Isn't that a dog right below the Blizz? That's a rat on a card. On a card. <laughs> is it a rat? <laughs> it's a mouse or a rat. I don't know. I don't know. Rat runs. It's small. It's it's it, you know it's small for me to see yeah. looking at but this. That, kind of thing, I mean, but that I mean that's a yeah. pretty cool looking Diablo though, too. So I that could be Diablo new, from man. Diablo two was he was a he was a menace. He was terrifying. He was a hard encounter. He was crazy crazy fast. Diablo three. Like, it was a cool fight because it was, like, one of the first fights that had, like, stages. And you're like, oh, my God, oh, my God. And some he cool was hard ideas. At, he was yeah, hard yeah. in vanilla. Like, at first in vanilla, sure. he was decently hard. But he wasn't, like, I don't think he, this crazy Belial force. Belial was the hardest, though, I swear. Yeah, Belial was, sure like, a wall. Yeah. Like, you hit Belial and it's just, like. Even still, this, Belial's probably. This is fucking ridiculous. Mouthy or Belial. So, so. Yeah. So. Um, yeah. So, I don't know. It's interesting. It definitely makes me think that. They're hype. They're leaking stuff, and we have Diablo figurines in the box. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm interested to see what virtual loot we get. Like they haven't announced that yet. Mm -hmm. There is a thing tomorrow. Um, there is some kind of virtual ticket thing that we get to watch because we have tomorrow that now. Tomorrow. Do you want yeah. time? Uh, noonish. I don't know. We can look it up. I'm not 100 percent sure, wow. but it is. Way tomorrow. to have information for the podcast. <laughs> It's tomorrow. They scheduled it tomorrow. on Wednesday. You know? yeah, they always do that stuff watch. on Wednesday. Like like tomorrow, they're going to announce the um, the theme season. I guarantee it's going to drop. Tomorrow. Yeah, that I, seems I to be. To they all, here's the, the thing. After the podcast, isn't this funny? Because we we decided when we like first made this podcast, you're like, well, we should do yes. Tuesdays because the majority yes. of information they announce is on Tuesdays, <laughs> right? And now all of a sudden, it's like, well, Tuesdays. let's do Wednesdays. Yeah. <laughs> So that like, way our, our podcast is a week old. Yeah. yeah. So. We'll just have to keep moving it and see if they change it again. Yeah, I know. Right. <laughs> but we'll start doing them on Thursdays. Like, ah, right. oh, you can't announce shit on a Friday, yeah. you know? Right. So, um, but yeah, that's, that's interesting. And then, uh, and then like so David Brevik did another interview. Another uh, I know one. he did one in the past, but he yeah. did another one. That was just released on the second, which was last week. I just found really? out about it today, but I, need to watch I listened. That. I listened to bits and pieces of okay. it. Um, I skimmed. I didn't have time. It was I watched like the old one, minutes. like all the way through. So maybe Did we you? could, yeah, yeah. And and I watched this one for it was an hour and twenty, and I listened to like the first forty five. Um, I'd ever run out of time. I couldn't. I couldn't listen anymore. Uh, it was interesting. I mean, he talked about how blizzard kind of came to be blizzard and and how the diablo concept came to be and you know it was a uh, his little baby like diablo is named after his high school which is right. something i didn't so know like, like he went to kind of the same interview already it, it could be yeah. i mean i'm sure they got asked a lot of the same questions and right. stuff but it was cool i mean he, he talked did about he go stuff, into it, like why he thinks they couldn't redo it in this one i, I not that i heard okay. but there was still more interview left i didn't get to watch gotcha. all of it or listen to all of it um but it was it was interesting and and he he talked about about things and it's just it just again why you know why is he doing interviews like this guy's got to be pretty important his time's got to be pretty valuable Revic? you know he's not for, even with blizzard what's he doing <laughs> he was making like indie games now is he yeah. okay well maybe he his just time made is not uh, your time is not valuable dude i'm just kidding but. below or something like that he just made yeah. that, that game, and that, people would love that game. But, so I don't, I don't man, know. You are um, just clueless. <laughs> no, I'm, I, I'm just saying the man's time is probably <laughs> valuable, and you're saying because he makes indie games, his time is not. Valuable. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's not. <laughs> He's not really like anyone anymore. You're like, yeah, fuck your time. It's not worth nothing. You're just making an indie game. Sure. I so mean, he, like, streams and stuff. I mean, his time's not that crazy. Uh, um. 
I mean, he's got time to sit down, you know, and do podcasts. So maybe we should invite him to ours. No, yeah. right. He's a legend. Like, don't get me wrong. Yeah. But yeah, you know, so it was it was just interesting. I mean, if you're a Diablo fan, it's something that you should probably listen to because yeah, the origin will. of the of the series is or of how all that came to fruition. It was like just chance. He met some team by chance and they kind of sucked him into blizzard and that's yeah, how yeah. diablo hit. and then diablo was his concept and he pitched it and they're like yeah let's make it you, you know, know really I, cool. a couple of things i learned from that first interview um was like so they were planning on adding another expansion to diablo 2 that was yeah. supposed to like to like bring out a cleric as a class which would have been mm. really interesting and then they also had in the works um another diablo game but it was based in space Space Diablo, yeah. and then they hmm. they stopped working on it. And like, but it was gonna be Diablo. Mm -hmm. It wasn't like right. the same engine. Yep. It was just a Diablo, Diablo in, in space. space, a future Diablo. Mm -hmm. hmm. I mean, I'm down for space magic. I like space <laughs> magic, so we could do that. Sure, sure. Um, but yeah, I you know I just thought that that was kind of interesting that that he he did that, and then um, kind of switching switching gears slightly. You and I have been playing different games lately. Like we played WoW, and we've been playing Destiny. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, and that kind of makes it kind of just makes you think. Like we've played enough of these games to understand how the end game works, yeah. how the loot works, the, the things. So when when Diablo Four is announced at BlizzCon, I'm not saying if, I'm saying when. Sure. Then, what what things do you think they could steal? What systems could they sure. steal? What things could they borrow to improve on our Diablo experience from these games or from any game? So I think we should like probably break apart like each each thing in each game, right? So Destiny yeah. and World of Warcraft and Diablo, they're all kind of like the same thing. It's like a big grind. You're yep. all about trying to get loot. Yep. And there's things to encourage you to come back and play every day. Um, yep. So... First, we could talk about maybe so dungeon slash maps. Okay. How do we feel about those in each game? Um. So WoW is this continuous open world for almost ever. I mean, you get these huge maps that you can really just walk from place to place if you want to waste your life, right? And Destiny is a little bit more instanced. I mean, it's still yeah. pretty open world, but it's still instanced. It's not as vast as WoW. Sure. And it's not and really that Diablo, open. It's like kind of singular paths and stuff like that. Yeah. And, and Diablo is like the extreme of that. So it's like WoW is on one side and Diablo is on the other and Destiny kind of falls in the middle to me. Um, I would love to see the next Diablo game be bigger in scale. I think it's about scale. And I think Destiny although it has smaller and linear paths for a lot of places, some of the things have this huge, massive scale to them. And an example is if you're a Destiny player and uh, semi-spoilers if you haven't beaten the campaign yet, I don't know what's wrong with you, but the Dreaming City is like an endgame destination. Sure. That feels huge in scale. Like when you get there and you're just looking around, the 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 tower itself is just massive and you have this big area. Hmm. Um, it, it, as far as in a destiny universe to me it feels way bigger than anything you see in, in diablo wow is on a whole nother level though i mean yeah. you know with wow it's like you're just dropped down in the middle of a planet which is kind of cool i mean that's that's what you want i think yeah so huh. i would like to see more scale okay that's interesting it's interesting i have some conflicting opinions um so obviously, yeah, I, I'm with you. Like World of Warcraft, it's it feels the largest. It feels most grandiose. It feels like whoa, like there's a big place. This is a big place, for sure. Destiny feels very small, very 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 small. Um, I think Destiny does a good job of like replaying some of that, but I could see you definitely be like fucking hell because there's nothing that's dynamic about Destiny, and that's my biggest. Yeah, it concern. doesn't change, right? And so it's like. Yeah. When you, even when you do like dungeons and or whatever strikes or whatever they're called, like that's dungeons. that's not dynamic. That's right. all completely static. Um, and so yeah. that's one of the things I love about Diablo, and I think this should be carried forward in mm -hmm. Diablo. And there should be like 
what you say it's like big open zones and that would be cool and then top down action yeah. rpg or shared zones but they should definitely keep somehow like a rift if you will where mm-hmm. you could go in you don't know where you're going it's randomly generated i love yep. that system i think yep. that and Destiny i, I can't agree 100 percent. world of warcraft can't yep. do that and it's just no. it's great it's fantastic i don't i don't i see and i think that that kind of lends itself to the game though like the top down action rpg has has that the focus of that camera angle and things like that i think it's a lot less detail is required in these zones and sure. they can make those tile sets to match together to make those randomized greater rifts mm-hmm. and i agree that those are awesome and i would love to see other games steal that and destiny tried and kind of failed um but it, it, that's really cool. The problem I have with Diablo is it feels so closed off. Like if you get some of the greater rift levels, like for example, um, uh, like like the the sewer. That's not, not a greater rift, but the sewer level in like normal Nephilim rifts, or um, or the Act Three levels. They're just these little narrow pathways, and they're so closed in. And and yes, they're different paths, but it just doesn't feel big and grand and open. It feels like tiny and small and i want to see like these huge landscapes and i want i would like to see elevation changes like everything in in diablo is flat you know you're not going like up hills or down hills or you know what i'm saying like if you think about it everything is like this flat well you have stairs and stuff yeah like it's not it doesn't feel like a hill you don't you know like when you're battling in a field it's like a flat field you sure. know like fields it, it just doesn't have it i don't know it doesn't have the scale that i think that game what do you could, think could i don't know what, what a hills what would that add to content <laughs> i don't know it's just as well i mean if we're talking about content it's like not much sure, it's just sure. a feeling Aesthetics. though it's just like yeah it's, it's just like this overall like epic adventure that you're on because right. it feels like you're really going through some countryside or some place like a real place not just this flat sure. tile of okay i'm just going to kill everything and move on mm-hmm. so um it, but the scaling i think matters and that's something i think that they could they could work on in in diablo yeah um, it was always fun like when diablo 3 first came out and you're in some of those bigger zones and you're like you're just discovering parts of the map and like you know yeah. it's, it's shaded off and you're like oh what's going to be this way I, you know i really have no right. idea and now it's kind of like you get those big maps and you're like okay i know like what kind of structure i'm looking for to find the exit you know yep so it's like lost yeah, exactly. that exploration so they could definitely do like a big open map where like you get rewards for uncovering or discovering stuff things to do like we just yep. talked about at the start of the podcast like hey help me kill these yeah. dirty dudes or whatever yeah help me kill these dudes yeah exactly um and then uh so that's that's one of the things what what were your three things that you broke down or the things that you were breaking down into that i kind of forgot yeah. where we started with this um what what about what would you say is kind of the the itemization okay. itemization of each game like how how do you think each game handles that i think they all do it differently and they all do a good job of it i think really? i i i i like hmm I, I think that Diablo has the best loot for making you want to continuously grind loot. Diablo has a, even though there are problems with Diablo's loot structure and, and, and there are things that would change for sure. But when you get your 15th furnace in mm-hmm. Diablo, it's like, Ooh, what is this? Like you're excited every time you see that item that you want or that you have, even if you have it on, because the one that you got could be better than what you have. And so Destiny now reintroduced random rolls on some of their weapons. And so it kind of has a little bit of that. But I think Diablo's is better. I think it's it's in the next level. And WoW's is like you get the same thing. WoW is like you're looking at item level. And and it's it's you're grinding the same loot yeah. for specific things. But the static rolls and, and traits that are possible in WoW kind of make that last place for me. Sure. And I think Destiny is second and, so and Diablo is just first. To get- that one thing that could like Warforge yeah. and Titan Forge that yeah. it makes it a little. And, yeah. And, and I don't really have a problem with the grind. I, you know, wow is obviously the most grindy of all of them. Sure. Like that game just eats your time up. You know, it's like full-time job if you want to play well. Um, so I like the balance. I think Diablo's in a good place with how many drops you get per hour and how much progression time it takes to gear up. Um, 
I think I would like to see primal drop rates increased slightly or a way to fix them like we've always been talking about. Yeah. I think that the only problem, the biggest problem I have with Diablo's loot is the in a, the ability to get a primal and then be sad after you get it. I think that's total BS, yeah. man. Aside from that, I'm pretty happy with it, in all honesty. I think it's I okay. Think it could definitely be reduced. Like, I, I think that like legendaries lose their meaning and lose their impact after a while and that that never feels good in any game yeah. so i'd love to see like they a get rid of all those legendaries that are never going to do anything for your build like ever and yeah. b you know remove a lot of bad stats from the game so that when you do get a legendary the chances of it rolling well are way better yeah I think they should. Min I think there has to be some of that in order to make those good items exciting. There right. has to be shit loot in order to have good loot. I Everything don't know. can't be good because, because like, then nothing's good. Sure, but like then when you get a legendary, it's like it's exciting again instead of it being. So would you rather them okay. make all the all of them good but lower the drop chance yes. to where when you get one you're like oh wow right so you're you're rocking yellows for the first couple of weeks sure. of a season. Yeah, mm -hmm. and then, you know, obviously they need different beam colors for Ancients and Primals, yes. for sure. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And then when you see, you know, like, so you're, you're fully regular geared out and, like, statted properly, and so you see that Ancient and you're excited because you, all those shit stats are in the game, you know it's going to roll well, and yeah. it just gets you way more excited. And then when you see the Primal, you're like, oh, yeah. my God. Like, this I makes agree my with, I agree with that. I, I think lowering the drop rates a little bit uh, so the, the counter argument to that, and this is why I think the drop rates are so high now, is that they they make the drop rates higher for casual players so they can get sure. items when they log in. And then those casual players can get the basic set of gear, even though it's got shit stats all over it. They, they're like, I got the six piece Tarashas. I can kill stuff and they're happy and they're excited. And then the hardcore players can continuously grind for those perfectly rolled mm -hmm. items. And they're trying to appease both systems at the sure. same time. And I think if you lower the drop rate, the hardcore players won't be affected. They're going to get theirs regardless. Yeah. But the casuals might never get that six piece towel rushes in the season. So here's the thing. So I, I, I agree with you. Uh, and that was an issue once upon a time, but then they added Hadrig's gift to the game. Yeah. So that's just not really an issue anymore. Sure, you're not well, going to play the, it, to that set. Sure, yeah. for a while, but you're powerful enough to grind out stuff uh, as fast as people that are playing tons of hours, if you'd like, because you'll have a set put together. It's not like you're like, set. oh crap, I'm going to be left behind. Yeah, and and I I'm with you on that. They need to balance a couple of the shitty sets still, though. There's a couple sure. that need work. Sure. Uh, but yeah. I agree. I, I I would be okay with that. I think that like the Friders Wrath Shield should not be that hard to get a good roll. Like sure. that thing. But we're also talking roll. about deleting bad stats from the game. Uh, I know that's yeah. what I'm that's what yeah. I'm saying. And like I, I'm a hundred percent on board with that because yeah. I, I rolled nothing but shields all season. Why would and I gotta, they ever make Friders Wrath roll anything but condemn damage? Condemn damage. damage. <laughs> like that's right. so ridiculous. Such poor yeah, design. Man. And so. it's 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 crazy. So I'm with you on that. And then like Demon Hunter, I mean, we've, we've been down that road. Sure. So yeah, get rid of some of those crap stats. Um, either remove completely or retool some of the crappy legendary items. Yeah. And um, remove them and you can bring them back if you ever want to add, add cool effects to them. In the yeah. Future. And yeah. I think I think that set bonuses should be the way to go 100%. Yeah. I think that Diablo sets, 3 is a set game. We should accept it. It should be set. Move forward. Yeah. For sure. Yep. I'm I'm on board with that. But yeah, so so uh, how do you think Destiny handles loot items and stuff like that? I think it works pretty well. Uh, they're new, like, like they've changed their system a lot over the years. Like they're constantly trying to tweak theirs. And this is something that I have to give Destiny credit for, at least in the in the recent uh, couple you know year or so. Sure. Since Destiny two dropped and it was complete garbage. The community outlash was insane and they felt it. They they felt it. It scared them. And they started finally listening to the community to the point where they started hiring community um, members to come in and say, hey, this is what we're working on. What do you think? Give us feedback. Like they had a summit where they invited a hundred of the destiny top streamers and YouTubers and community person, you know, personalities 
to, to come in and say, what do you guys think about this? And they gave feedback and, and then they actually responded and changed things based on the feedback they got. So I think they're doing a really good job and their latest system is pretty decent. It gives you a reason to keep logging in and grinding the game. As hardcore of a player as I am, I kind of wish there was a little bit more grind in Destiny. I wish there were more things to do to continuously up that power level. I think they could slow it down even more, but I want something to do every second I'm in the game. Yeah. I don't ever want to have to wait. I don't want to have to wait for a quest to reset every day or yeah. for something to reset. Like, give me something to continuously do. Like, in, in Diablo does this. You have greater rifts. You can, or in normal rifts, are just slaying things gives you drops and those drops can potentially be gear upgrades and so they kind of have in destiny and it like so they have that new thing that shows up next the, to your weapon right the prime ingram yeah yeah but that's once a day it's, it's bugged a little bit it's supposed to be once a day you can get the prime ingram and then once you get it it goes away okay. and then you can't get another one to the next right. day so then you're and, basically and out of stuff to do and that sucks yeah, yeah and then it's like so if you've done all your stuff yeah. and you've done your prime ingram then right. you're in the game and it's like what am i doing right and i don't like that at all and i feel like i feel like destiny has that like alts yeah wow yeah, has and that i don't too. think I, I think. wow has it but i think in wow you can almost always get something you can grind for a titan forged weapon sure even though it's super low and super yeah, stupid yeah. to do that you know you can though and i don't think i mean and i guess Destiny's kind of the same like you could keep grinding to get a perfectly rolled weapon that has the stats you want on it or the yeah. you know the rolls you want on it but i think diablo is superior in loot to both of those games i think their system's superior yeah. um even though it's flawed a little bit i think it's better than both of them so yeah and it's interesting too because i heard a couple of the destiny streamers i don't follow any of them but you know i tuned into <laughs> some of them that are on the top this week and i guess there was like a convention or something and they went like the and they asked the streamers like what what do you guys think like how, how yeah that's the that's what game? i was talking about earlier and, yeah but they are like we i we feel like you cater to the game like way too much to noobs and so yep. they made this one, this expansion, this one a bit more grindy, which is yeah, great definitely for, for sure. Um, yeah, but yeah, you're def yeah, it, it, you'd still like max out everything you can do in a day if you're someone that plays more. Than yeah, like four if hours. you're a hardcore player, yeah. you can do all, all your weekly stuff. You and, know, the thing and, is kind of weird in that game. It's like they have all these planets, they have all these environments, and maybe like for the people that have been playing nonstop, like going back to those environments kind of sucks. But like for someone like me, who's like I never played anything. Like it'd be cool yeah. to see them encourage you to like go to these places more than they do. Yeah. And and I think I think you kind of hit it is because the hardcore players like myself, I have been to all of those places so many times. Yeah. I don't want to see them again. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But, but you also don't want to just do, be grinding them one new zone all day over. Yeah, and over it's and over. it's like a double edged sword, isn't it? Because then it burns you out on the new zone yeah. too. So um but it's like Diablo yeah, three is like let's just like we'll keep all the maps always for all time yeah and that's a good thing I, but but so would you like to see them limit the maps you get in greater rifts on diablo i personally no. would no i do I, I want them to limit every season and have a rotating set of maps for greater rifts just greater rifts i think it takes down on the fishing and like sure i, I the fishing is a problem to me in diablo i think yeah. it is in, insane the fishing is insane right now because you got to get the rift, you got to yeah. get the pylon, you got to get the mob types, and you got to get the rift guardian. We're there are so many maps factors. Is like there. a a f quick fix to yeah, try to fix the it, bigger it's, problem. I'm not saying it's perfect. Yeah. I'm I'm with you, but I I don't know. They're limiting um, my content because like people don't. Yeah. Fish. Ugh, I don't know. I don't know, but there's some of those maps I'm glad that are in greater rifts. Like, sure, sure, like sure. The, like the what do they call that sewer map that they added in an expansion that has crappy frame rate? Uh, there's a map. Supers? It's like one of the newer. <laughs> it's like a great. It's like a Nephilim Rift map. It's not a Greater Rift map. Mm. The new one. It's in like the this Necropack. The yeah, Shroud of Mars. No. no, it was before that. That's the worst one. I, I don't know. know. <laughs> it's like it's like yeah, the dark the dark sewer one that that you can break down the walls to get there. It's just garbage, man. Mm. It's so bad. Um, so I'm glad those aren't in Greater Rift. Yeah. Um, and then. And then the leveling system yeah. in all of them, like leveling doesn't matter in any game. It's like once you're getting max level is just like it's it's a time gate. I don't, you know, I, is this a, is this supposed to be an experience that's fun? I guess, and like 
the story in Destiny I thought was really good. I know you don't care about story. You skipped every cutscene, right? Yeah, so, absolutely. <laughs> you know, like you had no idea what was even going on, I guess. I don't know. No, I don't care. But <laughs> go, but go like stuff. to me, as a longtime Destiny player, the story was amazing. WoW yeah. did a pretty good job of telling a story, and Diablo's campaign had a good story. Um, so that's pretty even. But once you get max level, I think the end game grind starting. I love raids in Destiny, and I love the raids in WoW, and I would love to see some more grand thing in Diablo that's more mechanic heavy. And once you learn mechanics, dude, it makes it easy. It's going to be trivial. Yeah. Everybody that's what I, that. The thing that kind of sucks about Destiny and WoW is that it's, I mean, it is scripted content. It's never going to, like, throw you for a loop. Like, yeah. once you get it mastered, like, it's going to be, like, kind of a snooze fest. Yeah, it's it's just about you know not getting one shot, getting sure. your gear high enough not to get one shot, and then memorizing Simon Says. Right. You know, I'm not um, saying that these are bad games. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm just like I'm bringing up points to like I still think kind yeah. of Diablo really wins here because you look at these other games too, and so these other games have a gear grind at the end, and that's it, really. Mm-hmm. Cause they're like you're trying to get more light level in Destiny, you're trying to get more gear score in World of Warcraft. Obviously, you're trying to get better stuff in Diablo. But there's also this thing that it's going to increase your power no matter what happens, which is called Paragon. And it gives you a reason to just grind your face off until you're numb. Like, it's just great. Like, you're going to get more power no matter what. Like, in Destiny, you can play all day and you get these prime engrams and you have a chance to get more power. That's part of the problem, too. (laughs) <laughs> like that's part of the problem it's not the paragon people... is not the problem <laughs> i know i know i'm just i'm being devil's yeah, advocate sure. here the bots are we the know problem. what the yeah. we know what the problem is yeah, the yeah. problem is the bots um yeah man i i agree i think destiny does it but our diablo does it really good but i would still really like to see a, a more grand thing in diablo like a raid or a uh I don't know. I don't know what you want to call it. I mm. would like to see an event. I want to see more than four people so bad, too. I think I, I want to see an event. I want to see eight people or six people. Eight I think people it preferably. would work in something like like Lost Ark has these like world bosses where you're in these big open areas and then like a boss spawns on the map and everyone goes takes it out. I wouldn't really like there to be like eight to ten man content in Diablo because I feel like it just gets to be a shit show. It's kind of like that destiny thing we were doing where we were farming wells or something like that like that's just a that's not fun it's just like this fucking crazy terrible shit show and you're shooting teammates in the back and it's gross (laughs) it was terrible the raid the raid's a different encounter so once you know we'll get you in the raid we'll do it and i think it'll really show you what what that feels like uh in destiny i think it feels really good and that's kind of the experience i want i want but i don't know if diablo could support that mechanic heavy i agree with you. i think it'd be yeah. cool yeah I, I i think it would be cool if there were a raid or a world boss that people could get in but the thing with that is you'd have to actually bump into people in the world environment mm-hmm. and that doesn't happen in diablo either and people argue that they don't want that they don't want random people in their game and i kind of agree with them although i'm not that way i see their point sure. and i'm like yeah i could i could get that i could understand that um so I don't know, but how how many classes do we have in Diablo Seven, right? Yeah. So I would like to be able to see a team, or some kind of event where you could have one of every class at the same time. Mm. And if they encourage you to do so, that'd be cool. Yeah, and there's like a reason for it. Right. Like, yeah, you get something. Like maybe it's just a, you have to queue for a special, you know rift or i don't know i don't know what but it would be cool to see a thing where all the classes come together sure. at the same time so. I, don't know. I do kind of think that like three to five players is kind of the sweet spot for content because like it's it's always gonna be pretty easy to find at least like three to five people that you yeah. know and play four, with four together. people it's easy to find yeah, four yeah. people to do to do riffs and stuff and i agree with eight people if if the end game content is eight people that's a lot more people to find yeah you know and, and, and then so getting you're kind of pushing teams. into like the okay we're gonna have a guild and we're gonna have planned nights that we do stuff and 
I don't know yeah. that I necessarily love that in video. I don't games. want Diablo to be that game. Yeah. That's WoW. Let let WoW keep the we right. got to schedule raid nights and shit yeah. like that. Like I don't I don't think Diablo needs that. Diablo just needs to be, hey, I'm on. What buddies are on? If I don't have any, I can use a custom channel to grab some some right. randos and and blow stuff up. Um, but yeah, man, I think all of the games. So I would like to see Diablo borrow some of the grand scale that WoW has. I want I want to see this more open style even though it's going to have the same isometric camera view and all that kind of sure. stuff i don't want to have like click on portals to go from area to area i want to walk from area to area or ride yeah kind of like the what is something they brought it in the necro pack where it's like an act is it act five act three where you like just kind of yeah. go from new place to new place and the environment like just changes yeah yeah it just changes yeah, yeah. that's really cool yeah it would have been cool yeah that to is kind of cool that. Yep. So, um, sc- scale would be my biggest thing. And then what, what would you like? Like what thing would you want Diablo to steal or to borrow from any of those games? If anything, or you think, you think they don't need much. I mean, I, I do kind of like the idea of having like a gear score. Um, cause you know, right now if you're to queue we, up we using matchmaking, do. not really. It just doesn't work. There's a damage sheet damage. Yeah, on but your it's not like a completely useless. It's not something you know that I mean? prohibits you getting in the groups. Like you can queue up for T13 yeah. whenever you want. Like, if, well, you have to do. A you know what soul. I mean? <laughs> I know what you're saying. <laughs> yeah, I know what you're saying. Obviously, you have to do the requirements. It would be you, so. You're looking for a way to quickly look at a character and say okay this guy's got gear this yeah. guy doesn't have gear like if i want to do a rat run instead of like getting in a community channel and like being like oh here's my gear blah 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 blah, blah. like it cool right. if i could queue up and you know because i have a gear rank that accurately portrays how powerful i am it might not accurately portray how good i am but that's the same thing and wow like you can have a high gear score but maybe you're not the best player in the world if but it would still knock out thing- some of the if if these websites like Diablo fans and and uh, D three Planner, if they can simulate your sheet damage, right? Why can't they do that in game for your damage number on your sheet damage? I don't understand. Hmm. Like if you if you hover over an ability, let's say, like why can't it? Yeah. You know, you hover over your skeletal mages with singularity. I don't know how much damage it? Yeah. Why yeah. can't it say like they're gonna I hit for now. ten trillion to twelve trillion? Yep. You know what I mean? Yeah, like yeah. okay, cool. And then you switch a piece of gear out. It's like now it went from yeah, yeah. eight trillion to eleven. You're like, oh, well, that's a bad upgrade. Let me switch that out. Yeah. Like I don't understand why these why this math can't be done in game. I, I don't know. I mean, it I, is done know. in game. It's just not shown to us. So it's kind of crazy. Yeah. That's, it's like if they're already doing it. So right. why can't they just here? Yeah. Here you go. So you hover over the um, skill and see how much. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. See exactly. And then then you know like yep. you know none of this. Then then you're not going to get. Hey, is this item better than this item? Right. <laughs> you know questions you're like I don't you know I don't know. Sure. You got to figured out um all right let's switch gears because you know, we're running past time already again uh black ops 4 beta yeah yeah this weekend on playstation is it already active it's already is active like- on playstation 4 uh it's coming out for pre-order like the people that pre-order it can play on pc friday at noon so like one hour after i leave the country which is great and nice. <laughs> and then uh it's open beta saturday sunday sweet um, and it's looking, I mean, it looks pretty polished. I was actually really expecting it to kind of flop. I fully The expect- inventory managed. So I watched, yeah. uh, I watched Doc Disrespect a little bit today, play some. Yeah. And the inventory management looked like garbage on PS4. Okay. But I, I but definitely But it's a PlayStation agree. 4, so I well, get, I get it. It's not just I, that. I don't know. Because let's compare it to VRs, right? So it's Fortnite and, and mm-hmm. PUBG on console have you ever watched those played on console i've played fortnite on console it's pretty awful as well because you can't keep buying everything you can you can keep well inventory management sucks okay so you're okay so inventory management sucks on console absolutely agree it's i think it's better than PUBG on console but and fortnite doesn't really have a ton of inventory management but it still does kind of suck but at the same time on console like you can't build so it's 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 like a trade-off it's like yeah but anyways as far as yeah it, it needs work and they've done some work uh just yes or today actually they patched uh, like you pick up items faster you can like swap items faster than you could before and stuff like that but i 
the interesting thing will be to see how well it manages it on PC because I mean these games are really they're designed for PC. It, it looked um so I I didn't watch forever man sure. I, don't, I only watched a couple games but it looked um boots on the ground slowish it didn't seem super fast did, did you see like any movement abilities or jumping abilities or yeah so there's or, uh, a wingsuit so if you're at a high like height you get the like the little squirrel suit you can like yeah move and so you have to find this item to do it no you get everyone gets that okay and then they have a grappling hook which you have to find and it's got like five charges and you can use that yes yeah, you can use that to like get to high ground or whatever and that, that's, cool. that's pretty good um but yeah it it does snipers had lead time but it didn't look as crazy as fortnite lead time sure. it, it looked um a lot more manageable to me yeah. like as snipers have no lead time in destiny which is what i'm used that's the fps i've played mm -hmm. the most in my life so when i got to fortnite and i started sniping and that lead time seemed like ridiculous to me and i'm like what the hell yeah. uh it seemed like it was there but it didn't look crazy from what i saw um people seemed to die fast really fast and I, I don't know if it was the guns that were used but i i saw doc moa do down in like half a second or less i mean it was like did it done you know yeah, and I'm but like, you're all, i mean the doc he's great at pc but he's he's pretty terrible on console so like if you watch someone like karma optic if you're watching no, 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 he did good like I, i'm saying no, he's he okay good. no he he's okay Trust. I know. I'm saying. I'm, no. I'm saying that I thought the time okay. to kill was fast with him playing. Yeah, you know but you're also like probably watching right when it came. Like armor is like actually a bit too much. Armor will okay. like if you get level three armor, you're just like a, a god and you just can't die. It's kind of really? ridiculous. So I would say that the time to kill is a little too long. A too high. Okay. Um, but yeah. So if you watch someone like Car Optic Karma, who if you guys are looking for something to watch, Karma is like. He's way, by far and away, better than anyone I've seen stream the game so far. And, like, it's... Watching him play is pretty crazy. But, it, yeah, the, the armor, I think, needs probably needs a nerf. I think the time to kill is a little too long. I, it feels great when it's, like, no one has any armor. Yeah. But when, yeah, when people... So, have, so is that is that a style that you like? You like whoever gets the first shot off should usually win the trade? No. Should win the, the gunfight? I, I think in a BR, it's a little different because, like, a BR is like, oh, uh, uh, you know, you're a little bit more on edge yeah. and, like, you got to play a little bit more safely. I think in, like, an arena-style game, it should be like, I'm coming for you, like, get your ass ready. And, like, everything's like, yeah. go, 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 go. But in a BR, it's like, well, you're trying to survive. I still think it plays faster than PUBG but not by a lot. And that's kind of like, yeah. I feel like it's just going to absolutely consume PUBG market, but it's not going to even mess with Fortnite. No. So when I looked at it, it felt very PUBG ish to me, yeah. but I don't have a lot of time in PUBG. I've got right. like maybe two hours, right? Like just enough to know, like, I'm not really interested. Right. And, and so it looks so PUBG ish to me. I'm like, Oh, this is like a, PUBG clone and maybe it'll be end up being better but Fortnite's a different animal because sure. it's cartoony yep. and it's building and it's you know already the king so it's like this to me isn't good enough to overthrow sure Fortnite and maybe not even good enough to overthrow PUBG like it pro like I think I agree with you it probably will just because it's you know it's a bit more it's, polished it, it's probably plays a little better I think it, it they got more money to back it yeah, up yeah. too. I think you know they got more money to throw at it to make yeah. it better. So it'll eventually absorb PUBG probably, but it, I don't think. But it's even if touch you it, like, right. if you absorb PUBG, that's a crazy successful game. Yeah, right? I mean PUBG's yeah. top five. Yeah, yeah. always. You so. know, always. But back to Doc though. Yeah, yeah. This is something I didn't even know. So what? Yeah. Tell us the so juice. you really couldn't get on Twitch.tv today without hearing about this, but. Uh, if you guys don't know, during Dr. Disrespect's stream, uh, like, you heard some, like, taps. Like, so, sounded like, kind of like someone's throwing rocks at a window. And so he got he gets up, and then, like, five minutes later, he comes back, and he's like, guys, I got to turn the stream off. You know, he took his wig off. He broke character, like, I think the second time ever. And he's like, people are, like, firing guns at my house. So I, I'm going to turn the stream off. And, this, and he's like, this is the second day in a row that this has happened which is absolutely crazy not only a because like, yeah, that's people nuts, are firing man. weapons at a house but at like his house like that could kill your ass yeah, yeah and insane. he's got kids like or he's got a kid like yeah that, like is regardless of how much you think he could be trolling a streamer by firing at his house like 
what if that like ricochets hurt somebody like you're going to jail prison for the rest of your life because like, yeah like you're it, clearly fuck? clearly if you're shooting at his house you're fucked in the head like yeah. you're not a normal person and you need to be getting some mental help and locked up so that's that is insane dude like i've had people threaten me before have you had people threaten you before mm, i mean like it's, internet threatened but Nothing like I, felt, I've, like I, real. I had somebody go far enough to say, I'm going to say hi to your family yeah, and shit, right. like, which is totally creepy. Sure. Um, so it just makes you want like, dude, I don't know, man. It's, it's, it's yeah, scary. It's absolutely terrifying. Like, that, like I got a window like yeah. right there. Like people find out where I live, you know, it's like, I'm fucked. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's crazy. I'm the, I mean, who doesn't have a window in their setup? Like there's a window right behind sure. me too, you know? So it's like, it, it's crazy. I don't know, man. It's, um. I hate to hear about things like that because yeah, like, like it's one thing to go at me or to threaten me. But then when you start putting people's families at risk, like I have kids, I have a wife, you know, it's like those things are, it's real, you know, it's like, is it worth, you know, it, it makes you question sometimes, is it, is this worth it? Is it worth jeopardizing my family? You know? Yeah. Could so. you imagine a day where like streaming is just like, it's just dangerous. Cause like, yeah. There's like somebody shot at his house with a gun because he's a streamer. That's so fucking it's crazy. Fucking crazy, man. Guns. So, anyways, I don't know, man. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Let's. Um, I. I mean, we got a couple other things on here. We're kind of over. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Is there any other of these left topics that you want to hit before we we wrap up? I mean, the, I'm okay if we go over a little because we have no podcast. Uh, no podcast next week. Yeah. I mean, so not really. What, what what question are we going to propose for the the podcast in two weeks from now? So um, we didn't really we talked about the questions for yeah, next week. We, we could honestly we stuff. could we could go further on what we were already talking about. So we've we have all these other games and their end game systems and the way they keep you playing. So maybe either a give us a system in another game that you would love to see in the next Diablo or this Diablo, or come up mm-hmm. with something on a, your entirely your own. This, so yep. that would be rewarding for players to keep coming back and doing over and over. Yep. Yep. I agree. I'm, I'm all about it. And you know, you know, the blizzard watches this guys. So no doubt if you have that billion dollar idea of end game content, man, they'll pay you, you 50 know? cents at least. Yeah. I mean, the, you could, you could get it implemented in game right now. <laughs> so this is your chance. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you you have something, and this is the topic that we've had for a couple of weeks, and we haven't ever had time to touch it. But I'm interested in your try hard, your try hard <laughs> on Twitch thing. So let's talk about this. Like this just sounds like an interesting topic, yeah, and dude, I kind this, of hit it. This actually triggers me so hard. So okay. I tweeted this out like I don't know, like a week or two ago. And there's this term uh, in gaming. It's not necessarily Twitch. It's this term in gaming, and it's I, I made already prevalent by oh, Twitch. Wait. But you. it's, you know, it's called try hard. Mm-hmm. And so it's like now, you know, kids these days playing shooters or playing other games, like, you know, maybe they're playing COD and like, oh, they get killed. And they're like, oh, that guy, that guy was such a try hard, dude. And it's like, is that, that's supposed to be like an insult. Like, like, oh, that guy was trying hard. Therefore it's he killed negative. me. And like, yeah. oh, because I wasn't trying hard, even though like I'm here streaming, playing 10 hours. Like, what are you talking about? Like, every, you're yes, trying. It's, it's like, yeah, they call them sweats. I've heard sweats Yeah, sweaty. A lot oh, my and, God, and, dude. Yeah, and try hard. But that's kind of my point. I've had the exact same stance as you. It's like, do you play the game to lose? Like, what are no. you doing? You're playing the game to win. So isn't everybody a tryhard? Oh like, who God. the fuck goes into a game and is like, oh, I don't care, kill me, I don't want to win. <laughs> yeah, like, oh, well, you know, you can like, have this yeah, one. Like, oh, hey, let's dance party in the middle. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, no, dude, you're trying to kill me. I'm trying to kill you. I'm with you on that. It drives um, me absolutely crazy, and it gets thrown around so much on Twitch these days. Yeah, yeah. It's like, what do you mean? I, that, yeah, that that originated for me i first started hearing it in destiny years ago uh in destiny one really early in its life cycle is where that term i started hearing it and people were like it started with sweats and people are like oh this match is so sweaty this match is so sweaty and i'm like it's supposed to be right that means the matchmaking is working perfectly <laughs> right if it's a sweaty match and then people are like fucking try hard fuck you know like you know they they curse at you and call you a try hard like the insult and you're just like sure. what are you 
yes of course i'm trying to win yeah. you know like what do you think and i did hear like so someone tweeted at me and it's like we'll try hard it originally it developed as a term to like describe those people that are like they take it so fucking seriously that like if if it's kind of like diablo like say you're in a rat run and then like maybe you're not generating globes and someone like rams down your throat like where the fuck are my fucking globes you goddamn near? like you know what i mean like yeah. those kind of people that took three minutes and five seconds that's unacceptable right. which isn't you know really I mean? yeah. try hard's not a great term for that kind of person that's just like <laughs> yeah it's like an asshole yeah asshole, <laughs> asshole is, is a more great, appropriate yeah. term uh, yeah, so but yeah. uh yeah, it drives me crazy try so, hard sweaty that's know. fine Ugh. i just wanted to get that off yeah. the list because it's been there for a while like let's talk about I'm, I'm honestly triggered i'm just i can't I, get over it <laughs> the last the last thing the last thing that I wanted to hit um, is I kind of want your thoughts on changing colors of different abilities in Diablo so you know good or bad. And like World of Warcraft does this a lot where it's like um, friendly abilities are one color and enemy abilities of the same thing are a different color. And Diablo doesn't have PvP, so it's not quite as black and white as that. But I think I think sometimes it's hard to differentiate and they have changed animations in the recent you know recently to to help some but i think some animations are hard to kind of distinguish like is is this a good thing or a bad thing like i think i need to get out of this but yeah. i'm not sure i don't know it, it it's sometimes hard for me to like step back and remember the times where i didn't know what everything was you know what i mean so it's like if i go play a poe sometimes I'd be like, oh, well, I just died? Like, what killed me? You know, because I have no idea yeah. what to look for. And I prob I mean, I remember that on Diablo, but to me, it's like... So, so to me, to I, I can't remember 100% if it was Condemn, but Paladins, Paladins definitely had an ability that looked just like the explosion when you kill an, an elite and they, like, charge up and blow up. It looked just like that. Paladins? And I can't remember... Crusaders? Her Crusaders, yeah. I was like, you know, are we talking about Diablo 2? <laughs> no, no, no. I, I don't know why I said Paladin. Gotcha. Uh, Crusaders, Crusaders had an ability that used to, that, I, and I think it might have been Condemned. Okay. But it was an explosion, and it looked just like the um, the Elite explosion. Molten? And I remember, huh? Molten? Maybe, yeah. yeah. Molten is a disability, yeah. But it, I think it was Condemned. That looked just, I don't know. But I definitely remember dying to it and being like, I mean, I thought that was mm. friendly, you know, gotcha. so yeah. um, I I would like so I would like things to be a little bit more distinguishable. So if you get a riff that has that bluish fog tint to it and then you get elites that have frozen, there are situations where you have huge packs of trash, especially like on Crusader where you're grouping everything up and frozen will drop right on top of you. And it's really hard to see. Yeah. You're like with that fog and all the mobs like you can't really tell what's going on um i would like to see that a little bit more distinguished i don't know so like i was playing destiny you know this week and like even the warlock though so the warlock is that right is that what the yeah okay so the yeah. warlock has like a thing that they put on the ground that gives you like damage and it's like blue yep and i when i Before saw he was that i was like oh shit gotta get out of that like it's on the ground <laughs> <Yeah>. it's bad <laughs> right so it's like games have trained us to like get out of ground effects so i don't know what the solution is for that but but blue is usually good if you see blue circles <laughs> but blue is always like frozen them. no blue is bad yeah you gotta you gotta test them you gotta test them and like oh let me stand in this yeah but well, you don't want to um, test them. like if you're wrong <laughs> and you're dead yeah i don't know because it's, it's we should need to like never have ground effects that are good but I don't know what the solution is because I don't know. Seemingly, in any game, you're going to be afraid to stand and ground things. Period. Maybe you should make auras that apply around the person instead of a ground effect. It's like a big cloud of fog. I don't know. I don't know are there any <laughs> are there any fog effects in Diablo? I can't think of. But any. there's like, still let's like say, in WoW, like they'll be like, okay, target this person. It says like, okay, you can't get you can't get near that person. So that would kind of be like an aura as well, and you don't want to be near that person. And then sometimes it's like stack on them. Like you just got to know yeah, mechanics like this. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know either. I don't know what the solution so, is. I don't. I don't know either. And maybe it, like it's nitpicky. Like obviously you can learn these things, but I think frozen is probably my worst culprit. I think on certain maps or certain densities, it's really hard to see if you're yeah. in frozen or not in frozen. Sure. And I think it would be cool to have those things be a little bit more distinguishable, but maybe that's part of the difficulty of playing the game. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's just like, all right, don't stand in this dummy move out, you know? Yeah. Um, 
One of the things that uh, it's kind of off topic, but the you know playing a ton of push necromancer this season, cold answer. Mm. One of the things that I never really noticed before <laughs> playing this was targeting. How terrible targeting is in this game. Yes. Because yes. like, you like when you're trying to hit the big yeah. ass elite and your mouse is on the big ass elite, yeah, but yet you're still versus, hitting right. like the it's, little dude around them. Yeah. Or or yeah, or the other way around. Um, I'm with you. And and even to take that a step further is the pylon clicking. Like, can we get yeah. a key bind to pop pylons? Right. Like, I don't I have plenty of keys on my keyboard. Sure. Let me get a friendly usability key, like for clicking the downs and right. clicking the pylons and uh, do you ever need to target your friends? I don't think so. Right. But and and also, can I get a portal to player two, three, and four keybind? Mm. Like, think if you could make your F keys two, three, and four. F yeah. two, three, and four portal to player two, three, or four instead of having to right click their portrait and teleport. If you could just boop, boop, boop. like quality of life, I know it's a, it's a hard sure. gripe, but like, come on, man, mm-hmm. do something. Please. Um, well, let's take some Twitter questions. Yeah, let's yeah. do a couple. I didn't get I didn't get a whole lot this week. We I only got a couple. Um, so this goes back to something we talked about. Snuff says, I read an article that when Overwatch came out, they did a hardware ban on all the aim botters so that when they rebought the game, they were instantly banned again, unless they bought a new PC. Mm-hmm. Would you like to see something like this for Diablo? Of course. Um, yes. <laughs> so, so here's, here's my stance on it. Um, I think if you get caught botting, you should obviously lose that account, not yeah. your whole Diablo account. You should lose the access to that game. And then you should be on a watch list. You could think of this like a sex offender list. You know, you're on the list, man. You either have to agree to more thorough scanning in the future if yeah. you want to play the game in order to ever access the game again. And if you decline that, then fuck off. You don't get to play. And if you get caught a second time, then you are banned permanently. Um, hardware banned for sure. So what if they I, all I had to like to... walk around with like a scarlet letter on their chest? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how cool would that be? So here's the thing, man. Here's another idea. Like, what if instead of banning the botters, they put them in their own area? Like banner ban. There's a ban leaderboard. There's a botter leaderboard. Botters can only group up with other botters. Like they like so GTA has this, and they GTA system is called oh fuck i forget what they call it bad player or bad egg or something they it's like it's like a bad egg player thing so yeah. if you're a dick in gta a lot and like people report you and you get caught cheating or you're just a total asshole then they put you in the bad player group and you can only play with other bad players you can't get in the normal pool of players again that would be amazing. Like, how cool would it be to see? And then you would have a wall of shame. So, like, you could pull up <laughs> the bad player leaderboard and yeah. you could be like, look like, at all these cheating yeah, assholes, like, man. Cool. I love it. I think that is an amazing idea because then you can't have more than one Diablo game on a Blizzard account. I don't think. I know you can do what multiple mm, wows. I don't, I don't think, think so. you can do multiple Diablos. But then they'd have to make a whole new account and lose their friends list and lose their achievements. Like all that stuff would be gone if they decided and they got in trouble. Mm-hmm. So, um, I like that. I don't know, but yeah, man, I, Could I'm you, down. Can you I, ever come back from like bad status? I think so. I think, but it takes reform? a long time. Repent. I think, I, I think if you're, I, I don't know, honestly, I don't know because <laughs> I've never been on it. So I think it's really cool though. Yeah. I think, I think it might reset every couple months. But um, in Diablo's case, though, it, it could if it reset every season, then that gives them opportunity to cheat for the start of the season. So, I, you know, I think it, it should be like if you make the list, you're on the list for a year or two years or something ridiculous. And then you can't play season or non season with non bad people. I think that'd be cool as hell. Yeah. So your buddies, you'd be like, yo, let's go do this. I'm like, oh, I can't. I'm on the I'm bad good. list. I'm fucked. Scarlet letter. So, yep. Um, Demonic Grizz says, with today being 9-11, where Shit. were you at that day, and wow. how did it end? Oh, damn. That's... Didn't even realize it was 9-11, did you? I did not. Um, yeah, man. So, I was at my buddy's dorm room. We were sleeping. We had stayed up all night playing video games. 
<laughs> probably didn't. We probably didn't go to bed until like three or four in the morning, and I was asleep on his floor in his dorm room. And um, somebody came and banged on the door super fucking hard, and we were pissed. Like beat the door, and we and so my buddy opened the door, and he's like, "What the f-? like you know what the fuck?" And the guy's like, "Turn on your TV." They blew up the World Trade Center. And that's all he said. And he just ran to the next door and beat on that door and he ran. And we're like, what? And we turned the TV on. This is like, you know, I, I, I can't remember. It was like seven in the morning or something. I don't remember exactly when it went down. Um, but we turned the TV on and then it was just like, you're glued to the TV, man. We, we sat there. Uh, some couple other fr- friends that were on that dorm room like came in. There was like five or six of us piled in this tiny ass dorm room watching on this little bitty ass TV, mm-hmm. you know. Um, and how, and, and it, it affected me. My dad is a pilot, so he Mm -hmm. was flying and he actually happened it to be, I mean, I think he might've been in New Jersey or something, but he was in the vicinity. He was on the East coast and I, you know, he'd done that his whole life. I didn't pay a total attention to where he was all the time, but I remember trying to call him and cell phone towers were just done in New York, like, you know, you couldn't get service. And so I actually didn't hear from him for like a day. So I was a little freaked out about that. Um, and, and since I was at my buddy's dorm, um, I parked in the student parking section and you had to get a pass when you visited. So for like two or three days, we didn't leave the dorm room. Mm. We just like watched the TV and I forgot to go renew my pass and they booted my car they put a boot on my car. So when I went to leave, I couldn't actually leave. And I was, and so, uh, I had to go talk to the security guard who was like, I'm not taking it off unless you pay a $250 fine. I'm in college, man. I didn't have $250, sure. you know? And so I'm like, I'm like, this is unacceptable. And so I went and eventually talked my way up to the Dean of the college. And I'm like sitting in his office and I'm like, dude, listen, nine 11 happened. I forgot to get the pass. We're glued to the TV I was like, I don't have 250 bucks to get this shit off my car. I got to go. I got school. I got to get back to my school and like do stuff. And so um, he he eventually like made me pay 20 bucks and took it off or something. Like sure. what a dick, man. I can't believe he made me do that. So that's my story. Right on. Where are you at? Uh, so 2001, right? I think that's right. September 11th. Yeah, 2001. Uh, I graduated from high school in 2000. So I was in my first right, semester. You're older than me. Did you get held back? No. Yeah. I'm only like a month older than you, aren't I? Yeah, but okay. No, I didn't get held back. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, okay. Um, but yeah, so I was in my first semester of college. Okay. Um, and I was on Johnson County Community College campus. And uh, we were, I was walking to my next class. And by the time I got to my next class, like everyone was in the room and like I remember like girls were crying and I was like what the fuck is going on and everyone had this like TV thing up and so I was watching TV and you know watching this thing go down and then you know watching live as the second one hit yeah and everyone me too. was like yeah. what cuz everyone's yeah. like oh no this crazy accident how did this happen and then the second one hit and it's like yeah, okay what like, the fuck we're being attacked this right. is it was it was freaky because yeah. you're like you don't know what's going right. on. And you're like, you oh, you're going to get like the Pentagon and you yeah. hear about like the one that yeah. went down the field and you're like, what the fuck is happening? So it was insane. It was absolutely crazy. Um, this was gas prices spiked up. Yeah. Like, like, oh man, I remember my, I, my psych, I was going to psych- psychology, I think this is my freshman year because basic level classes. And like, I think she ended up not teaching for the rest of the semester because she knew someone or something like that. That was, in the towers in the towers and so she like went to like help out or something like that and so they end up getting like someone to replace her for the rest of the semester but this was all yeah. before halo you know yeah it's it was crazy it was it was super crazy so yeah, yeah we just kind of hung out and then like yeah you know it was nuts it was so it, nuts. anyway uh what a horrible day and and i've even had to explain this to my kids like my kids mm. obviously weren't born when on this happened yeah. so um, my eight year old was learning about stuff and, uh, they, they talked about it in her class a little bit, yeah. but it was like breezed over. So she came home and asked me about it and I'm like, 
So it was like, how do you explain this? And so you're, you know, you're having this conversation like, well, really bad people crashed airplanes into these towers and, you know, and then they're like, why? <laughs> it's right. like, that's the question yeah. is like, you know, why? So and it's great because like my nieces and nephews were like, this is such a weird question, but they're just like, what was it like, you know, being alive during that yeah. time? <laughs> and like, that's, and that's the same for us. Like our parents fuck. and like, and like right. uh, Kennedy, Vietnam, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. It's like, you know, my mom is the same thing with Kennedy. She's like, I can tell you exactly what I was doing when I yeah, heard so Kennedy crazy. was assassinated. And it's like, and it's the same though, like for the World Trade Towers, for me, I will remember that vividly. Like yeah. that is like, just, I can remember that day like it was yesterday. So it was crazy. Yeah, that's um, crazy. But yeah, it's always man, interesting so, to hear that st- kind of stuff. Like, you know, my dad like what they were doing. Yeah. got drafted for Vietnam, but he had flat feet. So they didn't let him wow. yeah so like i have i don't have any cool like vietnam stories my grandpa had some some stories um i think it was world war ii but i don't remember them very mm-hmm. well now i need my dad to retell them to me because sure. my grandpa's passed away but um my buddy a really good buddy of mine his dad was drafted in vietnam and his dad won't talk about it but my buddy told me the stories and they're insane like absolutely movie script insane the shit that he did and it's just like it's crazy he he switched spots with some guy that he was a gunner like he you know the big ass guns behind the bunkers that was his job right so you can imagine what he's doing all day you know he's mowing people down so and and they switched him with another guy from a different battalion because that their guy got killed and like got shot or blown up or Mm -hmm. something so they switched him over there and then like three hours after he switched the battalion he was with got bombed and Damn. everybody died and like and like so if this other dude hadn't died yeah. he would be dead That's you know what i mean crazy. and it's it and then my buddy wouldn't be here like the whole it's just like this chain of events right is just not like, just that but like whoa. man like can you like living with something like that like yeah like holy he, shit. yeah it's just insane man it's it's, it's we can't it's even crazy. imagine like in an age where like we're playing games on the internet and like yep it's just so yeah i couldn't crazy. i couldn't imagine how scary that would be you no know what way. i mean just no being way. over there fighting people like yeah so my hat's off to any military people like yeah. I, i've said this before on stream like thanks for your service thanks for saving my ass so you know yeah. but anyways uh i don't know what to say for 9 11 like happy remembrance day it's not happy or what i you know what do you wow. say like respect to all the people that you know lost that lost somebody True. sucks so that's it, man. That was well. We got more questions. Uh, let's do one more. It's not end on sadness. Yeah. Okay. One more. Um. Let's see. Oh, there's two kind of good ones. Uh, I'll go with this one. So, what household chore do you hate the most? Hmm. This is this is pretty easy for me. I'm sure there's gotta I be hate, one. I'm sorry. I hate. Hate. I, there's two that I really hate, but I hate doing laundry, man. Yeah, I, I hate doing laundry. I don't really bad. mind washing it, but I hate folding it and putting it up. I absolutely hate it. Like I, I live out of a basket. I have one of those little steamer things, mm. and whatever I'm gonna wear that day, I get it out of the basket and I steam it to get the wrinkles <laughs> out. What? Because I'm too lazy to fold it when Holy I get it out of the jar. Shit. Damn. Yeah. That's I, I hate. You're just giving it. yourself more. Like how many times? How? How much time yes. of yours does it consume to steam? I'm it? with you. I can't argue that. I'm just that saying. That's crazy. I hate folding <laughs> up clothes and putting them. Damn. Um. I don't know. That's a good because if you would have asked me, I probably would have said like doing dishes. But I actually live in a place. I don't have a dishwasher, so I actually have to manually dish wash everything. I dishes is number two for me because yeah, it doesn't really. And then especially like when I live by myself, I really didn't do that many dishes. So like, I don't have an ice maker either, and that probably gets to me more than anything. Is having oh, yeah. to fill those ice trays, empty them out. So on your new place, is it? Is it? Did you? Did you buy a place or are you? No, we're a buying. I'm buying a place. Yeah, you're buying a place. Oh, congrats, yeah. man! I Thanks. thought I thought you were. That's why it. it's terrifying. I'm absolutely terrified. It's, oh no, it's not a deal. Not a big deal. It's it's actually easier. You can just sell it. If you get in trouble, you just like sell it. It's still fucking terrifying. <laughs> Did you put your girlfriend on a lease? No. Oh, okay. Well, see, it's not a lease if you're buying, right? 
unless yeah. I signed the wrong thing. <laughs> On the mortgage. I, I meant to say mortgage. Yeah. yeah. So you didn't go in at joint because that would be terrifying. Yeah. But, yeah. Sure. Are you, is your wife on yours? Your mortgage? Yeah, but we're married. It's different. What? It's not different. Marriage is just a title, dude. It's just a title. No, it's, oh, let's it's, look at the marriage failure rate <laughs> versus it's, relationship. It's, yeah, failure. no, I'm not saying, I'm not, well, I mean, I'm not saying that marriages can't fail, but yeah. I, but. Um, it's actually more scary, I think, to be married and be in a mortgage with that person because, like, if I, like, even Lindsay and I break up, like, you know, we just like, okay, you know, it didn't work out. So sorry. But if you Not if she's on that mortgage, get a divorce, she's on that mortgage. <laughs> like, woo, that's terrifying. No, 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 no. You got this backwards. No, 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 no. If, if, if you're, if you guys are together and you're on a mortgage sure. and, she, and you break up, she can still, she's still on the mortgage. It doesn't make right, her right. off the mortgage. Yeah. You have to meet her terms or buy her out, but which not, is the same if you're married. Yeah. Sure. Still got to buy them out. But I think if you're married, you're a little bit more committed to try to make things work if it gets rocky. Whereas in a relationship, you're just like, yeah, fuck it. Why? I don't need Why you. is I'm that? Out. Why do you like you're saying that, but there's no basis for it? Because it's just like you have a title over your head. Too. It's, it's a mindset. Yeah, no, like you it's not a mindset. It's you are in a relationship. Yeah. You're in a committed relationship. You're committed to that person. You don't need a title over your head. that says, Trust hey. issues right here. No, coming out. it's just like it's America <laughs> yeah. putting titles on us. Like, ooh, we're it's married. We're more, therefore, this we're is, more serious than any relationship. This, is, this has been around forever. Know, Marriage isn't it's an not American like it's, thing. Since it's been around forever, it's just like that's how it is. I mean, come on. I'm just saying, just commit, dude. Just put a ring on it, man. That's I'm committed. All. I'm very committed in my relationship. I don't need a title mm. to tell me I'm more committed. Mm. <laughs> We'll see how long that lasts. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. We we should take bets on this on this podcast, guys. For what sure. do you think? Less than a year, two years? What do you think till Fluff puts the ring on it? Yep. All right. So I'll stop putting pressure on you, man. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that's it. That's it. I, I'm gonna do one more just because it'd be funny. Yeah, so yeah. Uh, this it's not really funny, but this is just a, a trivia question. Nate says, "What's your favorite drink, alcoholic or non-alcoholic?" And we might have had this question before. I can't remember, but. Mm. What's your favorite drink? Like, if you're just like, man, I want this. Like, this is your go-to. I mean, I like fruity drinks. I don't know what it is. So, if you've ever been to, like, San Francisco, they have, like, these, uh, what are they called? Tiki bars. Hold on. One second, though. San Francisco has fruity drinks? Oh, yeah. The fruitiest. (laughs) It is great. I love San Francisco. All right. I'm with Um, you. But, yeah. So they have tiki bars. I love everything. Anything that's at a tiki bar, I'm all about it, man. I could just drink that alcohol for the rest of my life. Mm. Be a very, very happy man for sure. I, I can drink beer yeah. and I like beer. And I have more appreciation for beer since I like went to Belgium and like that. It's good. But I definitely would just prefer like just give me a free drink, put a whole banana in it, whatever you want. I don't care. I love good. it. Uh, so I don't, I don't, I don't drink alcohol, uh, but uh, I do like like fruity drinks as well. So like uh, like virgin daiquiris are delicious, man. I love them. They're great. I think we talked uh, about I'm, this before, but like, what's why why don't you drink any alcohol? Because I'm thinking about BlizzCon and I'm like, man, I'm gonna be drinking I mean, you alone. Can, <laughs> you can get toasted. You can totally get toasted. But um, so yeah, it's it's a long story that wouldn't wouldn't fit in the podcast. Gotcha. But it, uh, basically, just the childhood that I grew up in. Like there are alcoholics in my family, and uh, my parents are split. So my mom had some pretty shitty boyfriends. Sure. And um, and in all honesty, man, the biggest reason I don't drink is I'm scared I'd like it. That's that's the honest to god truth. But you don't think uh, you would alcohol- have the willpower to just not do it? I don't know. Mm. It's not worth it to me to find out. So wow. it's, I'm afraid I'm afraid I'd like it. And their alcoholism is pretty strong in my family. Sure. And I've seen the destruction that it does to the family. Damn. And I grew I grew up in it. So I'm just like, yeah, I'm not fucking I'm not going down that road. So I leave it alone. Um, but I don't have problems with it. If people sure. drink, that's cool. No, that's I, fine. Yeah, that's it's fun. Yeah. So uh, doesn't doesn't affect me what sure, you sure. do, you know. So, yeah, that's. Damn it, a sour note again? What's wrong with you, man? Let's what, all right. Sour note? What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> that's just that's just a weird note. Um the last question was summer or winter. It's just the easy one. We might as well knock it out. Summer. Um socially awkward said that. Yeah. 
I'm going to go with summer because yeah. I don't know. Motorcycle. I hate being hot. I don't like being cold, though. I'm going to say I'm going to say summer. I can't drive a motorcycle in the winter. That's it. That's the yeah. only reason. So I like you own cold. a bike. Uh, hello. Yes. Hmm? I'm motorbiking across Morocco next week. But you t- you're shipping your bike to no, Morocco? No, 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 that's way too expensive. That's what I'm saying. I asked if you owned the bike, though. I mean, I owned bikes yeah, for yeah. a while. I don't have one now, I have but two. I definitely would ride. Or one, so. two, yeah. So. All right, guys. Episode 19 in a the books. hour and 36 minutes. Yeah. Is this a new uh, record? Like, <laughs> I know. Again, if you made it through the whole podcast. <laughs> Good job. No podcast next week. No, none. Uh, we won't be here. Oh, so, where are you going? Well, I'm gonna be here. But, <laughs> you know, if I do my solo podcast, it's just a stream, like a stream. So, yeah, yeah. Um, so, uh, no podcast, but we will be back the following Tuesday. So, hopefully, we'll be back hopefully, my flight doesn't get delayed. Yeah, if his flight gets delayed, then you know, it'll just be a stream. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Anyways, if you want to catch more of me, my name is The P Child. You can see it below. It's spelled with an A, and I'm on Twitter, Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, everything at The P Child. Yeah, yeah. I'm Lord underscore Fluffy everywhere except Twitter. Just double the underscores. All right, dudes. See you in two weeks. Peace out, bros.